Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various VVSTs. We have a big one today. This is the Auburn Sounds Grillian 3. This just came out. This is a free auto tune plugin. The next iteration in the series, I art reviewed the Grillian 2 years ago. And this one, as you can imagine, new features. If we go to the site, new features, new algorithms, and a lot more. And this is the free version I am reviewing, but if you want to upgrade, it's only $29. So pretty inexpensive plugin if you do want to get the premium or the pro version. With that being said, let's get into it. And first things first, we got to record some vocals so we can fully test out this plugin. So I'm going to do my kind of classic vocals here. All right, let me this on. All right, so let's record these first and let's get into it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I feel like that's my typical like vocal I use and I'm not a good singer, which makes this video even better so we can see the power of this plugin. So I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm gonna play it and then twinkle, twinkle, little star. All right, so we got that. Now let's actually get, I'm gonna turn this off so it's not going the whole time. Let's turn it on. Now we have a bunch of different ways we can use this plugin, like a lot of them. First off, let's start with pitch shift. We're gonna go down here. So to show you, twinkle, twinkle, little star. So if you wanna create that unique kind of almost chipmunk sound, easily pitch it up and down. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right? In addition, twinkle, I can just do formants. So if I turn this up, for example. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, star. Right, so by adjusting the form, it's, it creates almost, I'm gonna call it even a different texture of the vocal. So I can even do this. Twinkle, star. Right, so that almost I feel like has almost like a trappy hip hop vibe. Twinkle. Right, but if I do this. Twinkle. Right, so definitely different ways uh, you can approach this already. And then we have this going, right? Because this is on, as you can see. Because I play this normally. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So you can see it being normal. And we have all the notes right here, of course. But then if I turn this on, what it's going to do is try to correct it. Or basically, in a sense, make the pitch as on point as possible. So now when I play it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So you can already hear kind of the pitch correction already happening. And there are a few different settings here, right? So if I want to make this smoother, um, the inertia, the snap, right? So a lot of ways I can adjust this because sometimes, I mean, depending on what you want in the song, you might want it to be, you know, aggressively auto-tuned if you're even going for like a T-Pain style sound or whatever. Other times, like, you know what? I kind of want to be more subtle. So if I like to turn it up as smooth as possible. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, as opposed to here. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, just kind of different styles, I'd say, of it. Especially if I turn this up, like... Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Like, that alone sounds kind of cool. If I want to, like, say, have something be looping and, like, say, like, an EDM song, like a bass song, I feel like that'd be more interesting as opposed to, like, say, this. Twinkle, twinkle. Right, or let me just twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, the inertia I kind of like because it depends on like the speed twinkle, of it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, I feel like I can do some really funky things with that. In addition, I can also adjust the note. So, let's say I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have this turn this all the way up, and let's say I want the notes to be like say just in C. Like say I'm doing a song in C major or minor, and I'm just gonna do this. So I'm gonna turn all these off. Now this is what you're gonna hear, is this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, so I'm gonna keep it in C, but if I turn the inertia down, as opposed to it kind of like slurring around, if I use that word, I'm gonna go down all the way here, and now touch it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, so different ways I can adjust this, and of course, I can mix it up. Let's say if I wanna do like a C major scale. I'm gonna actually keep the inertia down for this one, and put this here twinkle twinkle little star so most of the time it's in c anyway but as you can imagine if i'm let's say doing the whole vocal line i'm going all over the place but i just want the notes of c e and g for example to be played i can easily do that so I'll turn these back on 
In addition, we also have the pitch engine right here. So right now we're rocking the Grillium 3. I can also go down to 2. I can also go up to inner 1. So let's just kind of kind of see how each one sounds. Also, just there's not a right or wrong one, just depending on what you want. So let's say if I'm here. Twinkle. Twinkle, little star. Then we have this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So this one sounds almost a bit more grainy, as opposed to this one, which sounds more of twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right? And then this one, if we go down to Grillian 2. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And then even going down to, let's say, the lower pitches, like certain formants up. Actually, no, it's going to be down, is what I meant to say. Uh, let's bring it to like. Sounds a bit almost like spooky. Right? Or here. Like this one sounds almost with using the pitch and engine of Inner One. There's almost like this like almost quasi harmonic sound to it. Right? And then lastly, I also have some options here if I want to do a preamp, if I want to use MIDI for whatever reason, or even chorus, right, which sound pretty cool. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And you can tell, even now, just adjusting the pitch engine, again, no, like, right or wrong, but... Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'm going to put it back on G3, and then we can go to effects, right, so I can compress it, you can use some gating, quantize, or reduce, so... Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. I like the gate, to be honest. I think it's like a perfect way to... Especially, like, say, if I'm doing a vocal line and you get these kind of, like... I don't even know if there's a word for them. When people go, like, you sing something, you're like... And you get that breath or, like, a... Like, a, these kind of, like, mouth noises. The gate's perfect for that to kind of cut that out. And then lastly, of course, the compressor. So turn these down as well. Twinkle, twinkle, little but star. remember, when it comes to these... Some of them I might use very, very quick, but I can always just go right into Ableton and use kind of these effects here, kind of the stock effects. But what's good about these kind of plugins is, of course, not everybody uses Ableton, so it does depend on what you want. In addition, some of them have, I think, a very easy feature. Like, I feel like the gate in Ableton, for example, a bit more intricate than this one, and I feel like this one works perfectly. So sometimes I'm like, hey, if it's not broken, why try to fix it type mentality? And that is how easy it is to use this plugin, as you saw. It's pretty quick and efficient. I typically do adjust, as you can see, just kind of the smooth and the inertia when it comes to these. Let's mess around with the snap min and max. So we're going to put this back on regular settings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, but I can just... Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right. Or turn this one next thing down. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So again... Definitely gives like different like effects depending on what you want and what you're going for. Um, I like, in my opinion at least, because you can see how it can adjust. It almost seems like the speed of the auto tune. I think the biggest one for me is the smooth and the inertia. Especially if I turn this up, probably gonna hear it more. Twinkle, twinkle, right? little star. Right or this one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So. A lot of these are gonna adjust, and I think the good thing about a plugin like this, which I really like, is there's no right or wrong, right? It really depends on what you're going for in your track. Are you going for something that sounds aggressively auto-tuned? Do you want it to have, like say, when it comes to the inertia, for it to almost have this very slurry feel, like I showed you before. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right? Or do you want it to be almost kind of more subtle and quick? If I turn these down, um, something like this, maybe. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Well, like, that's more, like, I think, subtle. You can tell it's auto-tuned, but it's not this, like, aggressively affected vocal style. I can say, you know, when it comes to auto-tune plugins, you can never go wrong with the Auburn Sounds Grilling in 3 and the Auburn Sounds set in general. Phenomenal plugin maker. And especially not only that, when it comes to free auto-tune plugins in general, this, definitely the best.